Uh, thank you. The general question, because I'm curious, I've never had actually federal guys in the same room. Uh, when you do evaluate the uh, projects like Civil Trade Pipeline and the larger story of energy, energy consumption, other questions, how do you disconnect a pipeline from a phenomenon called hydraulic fracturing when you're looking at environmental impacts in this particular territory here and zoom out of this picture and connect it to the fracking, the hydraulic fraction industry? How does one do disconnect these two issues because one creates quite a bit of havoc or environmental and, uh, problems in other parts of the country, all of them are also U.S. citizens like we are, if we're focused on one little tiny aspect of this larger mosaic, how does one do that? That's a large question, I apologize. No, no, it's a, it's a large question, yes, and it's a question that's being asked throughout the country every day. How do we separate some of the impacts? Because, you know, ultimately, it's, it's, everything's connected. It, it, I think it's where you're getting to, and how do we do that? The commission regulates the, the transmission of the pipeline, the transmission of natural gas through the pipeline. But there are impacts of that production. So I talked a little bit about cumulative impacts, and I, I talked about in the context of multiple pipelines, but there are cumulative impacts in terms of other projects and other activities that if you add all those effects together, what is that effect going to be? One of those projects, <coughs> one of those types of projects that we do consider and, and do discuss in our document is, is the production of natural gas whether it's done conventionally or through unconventional means, fracking, you know, that does have impact, so that is addressed in the document. Uh, the document focuses on the transmission portion, but attention is paid to uh, the, the impacts of other projects. And that can include a shopping mall, another interstate, uh, other pipeline projects that have been built, so there's a lot of projects that are out there. That if you add all these things together, they result in a larger impact, and that, that's one of the challenges of, of the job that we have. So it is done and, and complicated, I guess, is, is probably the best way to put it, because the effects will vary. You know, air, air impacts vary across an air shed, whereas a crossing of a water body typically only affects the water body in the immediate area, but not always. You know, so it, it's, it's, it's a lot of work. That's, that's the best way I can put it for you. Yeah. Other questions? Good for hands. Yeah, I got one. Uh, Carmen. First in, first in. 